everybody. It's been a weird night. Uh, I've been watching the auroras and um, watch what happens. At first, I thought it was an asteroid. I slowed it down, watched the thing go over. Oh my god. It looks like a sun passing, so I slowed it down on the next one. Anyways, enjoy the music. I'm just going to show you some strange stuff I've seen in the last. Thank you, Catherine, for this lead. Look at that thing just crossing the sky. It's moving pretty quick, and then it turns off. All right, keep watching. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Now this time, watch how it just turns on like a light. And then it begins to travel. It's on the right side, upside. It goes to the top of those trees. And it's like, you know, we heard moons. We heard moon simulators. We heard about China making a moon to increase the light. Well, that was an increase of light right there. It's like daytime. Maybe they, they're testing it in Lapland. Because no one's really there. Not that many people. Or maybe not in that area. But ain't that wild? Anyways. Keep watching, more music to come. More music, maestro. So tonight's one thing after another. Then I saw this strange sighting. It's like two round objects. They turn on, they turn off. You watch. Comment. Tell me what it is. What is it? of you out there understand what that was you know it could be what um i don't know gas from the marsh yeah could be Folks, of the Samuel Hoffman models, this is probably the best view of it I've ever seen. So clear. It's 
got the right clouds, it's got the right blue shape, it's got the, you know, the, the, the bottom of it, like a ball. It's pretty big. Um, I'm not trying to put any fear on nobody, but, you know, I'm looking at Samuel Hoffman's models for a while. Last video, I put out a lot of uh, footage to show you how this is coming over. Now, it's going across us. That's all I can say. And here's another picture as it's passing. It's five minutes later. And you can see the types of clouds that are around the planet. And they carry their own atmosphere. That's all I can say. I see it. Can you see it?
Revelation 9. And the fifth angel sounded, and I saw a star fall from heaven unto the earth, and to him was given the key of the bottomless pit. And he opened the bottomless pit, and there arose a smoke out of the pit, as the smoke of a great furnace. And the sun and the air were darkened by reason of the smoke of the pit. And there came out of the smoke locusts upon the earth, and unto them was given power, as the scorpions of the earth have power. And it was commanded them that they should not hurt the grass of the earth, neither any green thing, neither any tree, but only those men which have not the seal of God in their foreheads. And to them it was given that they should not kill them, but that they should be tormented five months. And their torment was as the torment of a scorpion when he striketh a man. And in those days shall men seek death, and shall not find it, and shall desire to die, and death shall flee from them. And the shapes of the locusts were like unto horses prepared unto battle, and on their heads were, as it were, crowns like gold, and their faces were as the faces of men. And they had hair as the hair of women, and their teeth were as the teeth of lions, and they had breastplates, as it were breastplates of iron, and the sound of their wings was as the sound of chariots of many horses running to battle, and they had tails like unto scorpions, and there were stings in their tails, and their power was to hurt men five months. And they had a king over them, which is the angel of the bottomless pit, whose name in the Hebrew tongue is Abaddon, but in the Greek tongue hath his name Apollyon. One woe is past, and behold, there come two woes more hereafter. And the sixth angel sounded, and I heard a voice from the four horns of the golden altar, which is before God, saying to the sixth angel, which had the trumpet, Loose the four angels which are bound in the great river Euphrates. And the four angels were loosed, which were prepared for an hour and a day and a month and a year, for to slay the third part of men. And the number of the army of the horsemen were two hundred thousand thousand. And I heard the number of them. And thus I saw the horses in the vision, and them that sat on them, having breastplates of fire, and of jacinth, and brimstone. And the heads of the horses were as the heads of lions, and out of their mouths issued fire, and smoke, and brimstone.